My name is Bill. I'm 39 years old. I'm from the Phoenix area as well as the Sholo area, back and forth, whatnot. Um, I skated until I got my first board when I was seven. Um, I skated off and on for a couple years, never was too serious. Um, gave it up for a while. Got back on a board when I was 17, maybe 18. Rode for another couple years, and then when I was 19, this dude that I thought was my friend, um, he was my friend. I'm, you know, I really don't know what to make of the whole thing. Anyway, he grabbed my leg while I was on a trampoline and um, basically gave my ACL and my left leg a little tear. Uh, I never got it treated, never got it taken care of like I was supposed to. Um, it made me quit skating after six months or something because I kept hurting it over and over again. I heard her doing a few other things too. Um, I I went for 18 years with that thing torn. Um, every time I got hurt, it just tore a little bit more and a little bit more. And before I know it, I uh, I took a step about two years ago in June or July of 2015. I took a wrong step and um, felt extra pain in my knee went to have it looked at come to find out I could get it fixed so I got that fixed I got a cadaver uh, what do they call it a cadaver not a tendon a ligament in my left knee and I told myself I'd give myself a year or two to rehab it and get it nice and strong again before I started skating so in January I felt it was time I got a free board from a guy I think his name was Spencer at Cowtown Skateboards at 3rd Avenue and Central. The guy was awesome. He gave my friend a discount on two boards because she bought two of them. Like a $40 discount at that. You know boards can be expensive completes anyway. So there's this deck, this deck here in particular, behind a counter and he told me that uh, that I could have it. Oh. <laughs> it's this deck here. Anyway, um, he told me I could have it, and I also got a set of hardware, um, set of bearings, and a set of wheels. It was pretty awesome. It was like God telling me that I got to skate again. It was amazing. I was on top of the world. I was ecstatic that I could start riding again, especially for that cheap. So I started asking people around, and uh, nobody had any extra parts or anything. I needed some trucks. So I went ahead and hit up my buddy Tom, Tom Aders, great artist, you guys check him out. Um, I'll have to, in, either in the description or the comments, I'll leave um, a link to his Instagram. The guy's amazing, you should check him out, definitely. So anyway, he texts me probably a couple weeks later with a picture of this Airwalk skateboard, this old Airwalk skateboard with those trucks and wheels on it, these ones here. And... Uh, <laughs> the picture says, are these the droids you're looking for? <laughs> and I about cracked up. And it just made my day. I went over there immediately, got the trucks and wheels, put them on the board, went straight to the skate park, and wore myself out in about a matter of 15 minutes. So rather than keep wearing myself out and trying to get hurt, I went ahead and called it a day. Only skated for about an hour. Waited a couple more days, skated another hour or two. Couple more days, skate another hour or two, and before I knew it, I was at the skate park for like seven hours one day, just loving it, having a blast, getting used to getting my balance back, getting used to pumping in the bowls, getting used to you know trying to get used to coming out of bowls again. But that shit's tough. I'm telling you, my legs are nowhere near strong enough yet. But um, after a couple months, shortly after Valentine's Day, my uh, I have a condition called gout, and um, I was on medication and everything seemed to be well, but it uh, it moved to my knees. And I wasn't able to skate from mid-February up until just a couple weeks ago. And my first video on YouTube is my first video of me getting back to skating. I thought about doing some filming when I was uh, skating earlier this year before my gout came back. But at this point, I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I would have had to drop out and anybody that follows me or watches this would have been wondering what the hell. So and I'm not sure what other kind of content I would have come up with. Um, maybe some video game stuff or whatever. But I don't really know. Um, so 
I just decided that this time I'm going to document everything. You know, document as much as I can. Maybe maybe talk to the camera some like I am right now. I don't know. Just kind of get some stuff off my chest. And maybe some other older guys, you know, 38, 39, 40, 50 even, can see this and feel inspired that you can still do the things that you want to do. You have to be careful about it. And make sure you don't get hurt. This is a dangerous sport. But, you know, I mean... Not that I want to get hurt, but even if I do get hurt, it doesn't matter to me because I'm doing something that I've loved since I was seven years old. Something that, that fills my hole in my soul, as I like to say. So, um, the point of all this, the point of me rambling right now, the point of the skate videos, the point of everything that I'm doing from here on out is just to help people realize you can do whatever the hell you want to do. If you're an artist and you want to get back to painting, um, uh, skater, you want to get back to skating. A roller skater, you want to get back to roller skating. It doesn't matter. BMX, bicycling, it doesn't matter. You can do it. Just get out there and try. Have fun. It's all that matters. It doesn't even matter how good you are. Now you notice I'm not trying to do any of these crazy tricks or nothing. I'm just trying to get out there. At this point, trying to strengthen my legs. If tricks come, then tricks come. You know, like you'll see in that other video, or maybe this video, I'm not sure. You'll see that... Um, I tried a little revert action there and ended up stepping in a puddle of mud. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't twist my ankle or anything worse. You know, I'm glad it was just a little bit of mud and water. But, uh, yeah, you know, hey, it's par for the course, comes with the territory. And uh, this place would probably be full of water without that drain that I stepped in. So, even though it appears to be clogged at this point, maybe they should do something about that. Maintenance. Anyway. Anyway, I guess that's it for today. Um, put together another video soon and for those of you that are following me and whatever uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart I mean this means a lot to me and uh, hopefully it can mean something to you guys too so, that's it